has been a long, long season. Well, I'm here at one of my secondary uh, bowl stand locations that I really set up for early season and uh, it didn't really work out that well. It's right by a pond and some bunch of valleys kind of coming together down in a deep draw. There's a little farm pond here, cow pond. And uh, I set up in this big white oak tree here and uh, before I ever got to hunt it, the acorns all dropped and uh, never really had a lot of action here. so. It's in a terrible spot for gun season, which is only a couple weeks away, and I haven't really been doing that well bow hunting it either, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it down today and try to find a spot that would work good for some rut action for bow season right before gun season starts, and then hopefully also works for uh, gun season as well, so it'll kind of be a secondary backup stand, so time to get to work. That's the end of that spot and uh stand came down a lot easier than it went up um end up having to use two people to get this up and an extension ladder because this tree is so big around you just you can't get your arms around it to get the stand set up and uh i couldn't use my lifeline or uh, my uh not lifeline my uh lineman's belt either to set the stand up so kind of makes it dangerous too sorry mom and uh getting it down was a little dicey as well but it didn't go too bad so a lot easier than putting it up so on to the next hot spot I guess all right well I just finished scouting around and uh, found a spot that I think is gonna be good I've kind of scoped, scoped it out a little bit before and I was kind of across the entire other side of the farm my main bow stands actually just right over this ridge I'm kind of on top of the ridge here my main bow stands right at the bottom of it so there's been a lot of a lot, there's always a lot of deer activity in this pasture once the cows are done in it and uh, there's some really good scrapes right in this uh, cedar tree here and uh, kind of in this whole area there just kind of always seems to be stuff so got an okay looking tree there I think it'll work good for bow the rest of bow season into gun season this tree with the scrape and rub by it there is only like 20 yards from where I can get my stand up so that'll be a good spot for bow hunting hopefully and the tree's not so big around, so hopefully I can get up in it quicker and easier. So we'll uh, see if we can get it up here and maybe hunt it this evening. So we'll see what happens. Well, it's about 4.07 on uh, October 26th, and uh, I just finished tree stand up sitting in down from by the pond which is way on the other side of the farm that just hasn't been a good stand yeah, I moved it way to the up to this side of the farm <clears throat> the south side of the farm and uh, kind of got it set up where it could be a good bow stand but it'll be a great gun stand too in a couple weeks here I think and uh, I'm kind of in a pasture here where I've set up on a few different times I set up uh, across it last year with this stand um, and had some action but it was so-so um, I didn't really love it and then I actually sat maybe even behind the tree I'm sitting in during gun season and I saw um, heartbreaker come out and some does and stuff um, 
And that was kind of a cool hunt too, so it's a good area. There's there's deer that come in here a lot, so. Um, the other reason I moved to here is because my both of my stands were set up for set up for the same wind basically as they were both horrible in the south wind so this stand will actually be perfect for almost any wind except for uh, uh, west or uh, east wind it won't be good for a east wind but I've got our stand for that that's no problem so Got a good scrape like 15 yards in front of me and a couple of rubs and it looks good in here. So I know the does like to come in here too and the turkeys like to come in here. So we'll see what happens. Well, it's the morning of October 27th, and uh, I guess, you know, it's been a slow weekend when you start filming squirrels and getting excited about it. So, I just saw one little deer this morning. Um, I'm not sure if it was a doe or a small buck, but it was just down in the bottom, like 100 yards away. <clears throat> Yesterday, I didn't see hardly anything, really. I saw two buck or two does running across the open field at 250 yards away. So, it's been a pretty slow weekend ever since I decided I was gonna shoot a mature doe the next time I saw one, which usually is every time I sit down. I think I'm going on three weeks and not being able to get a shot at a doe, so. I don't know what's going on, I must have read the playbook. But anyway, it's a nice morning. It's like 30 degrees out, it's really cold. Nice northwest wind. And it's just, it's just quiet. There's just nothing going on. So probably stay and hunt this afternoon if the if the wind stays good and uh, weather stays good and just stay after it and see what happens. I guess. What else can you do? Well, it's the evening of uh, October 27th, and uh, I am exhausted. It's been a long three-day weekend, and. Uh, just been getting up every morning at the crack of dawn, before the crack of dawn. Hunt in the morning and uh, not seeing anything. And then uh, working around the property all day, just get stuff ready for gun season and uh, I'll just move, move to stand and just doing a ton of work to get ready. So I'm in the evening and also not seeing anything. So the weather's been great. It, it should be great hunting. Um, it's usually great around Halloween. But um, I don't know what's going on right now. The, all the scrapes too that I've been seeing that had been really active are kind of unattended looking. So there's a lot going on in the area though. There's uh, farmers are taking their crops out. There's road construction like right behind me. Um, and uh, there was a youth gun hunt last weekend. So maybe those three things together kind of turn the deer off. Um, I've been trying to shoot a doe for the last three weeks now and haven't got an opportunity, which is crazy. Usually I see does all the time, so I guess I can't be as picky early in the early season, but I like to be able to hang them outside for a couple days before I butcher them, so. Well, we'll see what happens tonight. I'm being that it's Sunday night and I got to drive all the way back home and work tomorrow morning. I'm probably only gonna shoot something if it's a big buck, so. We'll uh, just kinda keep hunting hard and see what happens. been a really uh it's been a really bad last three weekends as far as deer sighting goes and it's kind of funny every time i i didn't really realize this till the other day but every weekend i go hunting 
and you know, usually you don't get anything when you're bow hunting, often. And you, I never really see it as a bad thing, I just kind of see it as a, well, you're just hunting, you know, it'll happen when it happens, and I never really think of it as a win or a loss, I guess I think of it as a win that you got to go hunting, when you get back to work and talk to people or whoever, and you tell them, oh, you know, did you get anything, and you say no, and they say, oh, well, that's, that's too bad, you know, and they kind of feel sorry for you, <laughs> I never really understood that, because, I feel like you're not really out here. I'm not out here to try to kill a deer every time I sit down. And that's the end goal, I guess. But you're kind of just out here to be out here. If you if you get a three day weekend or a day here, or a day there to hunt, I mean that's just a win whether you shoot something or not. You're kind of just out here, so it's all part of the story. So if I wanted to go shoot a big buck and and that'd be that, I guess I'd just go to a fenced-in game farm and have no story to tell. I don't know. So, I'm uh, hoping for some luck tonight, but at the end of it, I'm just happy I'm getting to hunt this much, so, gotta take it for what it is.